Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to another quiz. So this quiz is which Frozen 2 character are you most like? I loved Frozen 2. It was so good, so cute. Oh my god, it touched on so many like dark um, topics that I don't think most kids would understand, but it was still way better than the first one. So first question, fill in the blank. I like reindeers, new things, fall weather, being outdoors. Um, I've never been particular to reindeers. Truthfully, until I got older, I thought these were fictional characters. New things, it kind of depends on the new things. Fall weather is definitely really nice. Um, I'm partial to um, warm weather than fall weather, even though it looks like I hate, like, warm weather loves me. No, I love warm weather. Warm weather does not love me. Being outdoors is a hit or miss for me, so I think I'll just go with fall weather. If I had Elsa's powers, I would craft an ice sculpture, make an ice skating rink, wipe up some shaved, whip up some shaved ice, build a snowman with permafrost. I hate ice skating. I only went once when I was eight years old, and I was so terrified I thought I was going to fall flat on my ass. Craft an ice sculpture would be very interesting. I'd probably make like a Jack Skellington ice sculpture. I've never been a fan of shaved ice. I just don't like sweets in general. And I've only ever really built a snowman once, but building it with permafrost. If you guys don't know what permafrost is, it basically means they never melt even in the heat. So I just have a snowman outside my house all year round, which would be kind of weird. So let's craft an ice sculpture. Pick a word to describe the ocean. Vast, glistening, deep, mysterious. I'll definitely go with mysterious. Um, you know how like everyone has an element based on like their zodiac sign? Well, Aquarius, which is mine, it's technically an air sign, but everyone thinks it's a water sign. But water isn't really my natural element that I feel. And it it isn't air either. Believe it or not, it's actually fire. I love fire. But I always think our oceans are definitely mysterious. Olaf would ask, how do you cope with the ever-increasing complexity of thought that comes with maturity? How do I cope with it? Well, let's see. By distracting yourself with Disney movies, by taking a nap, by reading books, by discussing it with a friend. I tend to suffer from panic attacks, and because of the depressive mind that I have, it's very hard to cope with it, but I feel like discussing it with a friend is definitely better, especially because um, someone I just met recently told me that talking it out with people always helps, and I, I definitely agree with that, so I think discussing it with a friend. What is your favorite charades category? Animals, music, movies, breakfast cereals. I've never played charades a day in my life, and truthfully, I don't think I'd be any good at it, but I think if I were to do a charades category, personally, animals would be a lot easier for me. Who would be your ideal travel buddy? Olaf, Anna, Sven, or Kristoff? Olaf would definitely keep you interested with those fun facts that he knows, and y'all know I love my fun facts. Anna tends to be the person who really likes to rescue people, likes to be there for people. Ben is your mode of transportation. And Kristoff, eh, he seems a bit too emotional for my taste, coming from the very emotional person that I am. I'd say Anna. Here's a preferred method of transportation. Ben's back, being carried by magical leaves, a sled, or riding a magical water horse. Well, the safest out of all of those would probably be Ben's back given that he has a saddle, but I think it'd be awesome to ride a magical water horse. My friends describe me as funny, spontaneous, stylish, or creative. Ah, I'm not really that funny. I'm not really spontaneous either. My style has kind of been one noted lately, so I'd say creative. Olaf lost his carrot nose. You replace it with a random branch, a banana, an icicle, or a mistletoe. Well, since he's made out of permafrost, I think an icicle would make the most sense. But since he also has twigs on him, maybe a random branch. But I think the icicle would look better. What's your favorite type of vacation? Road trip, Disney parks, beach, abroad. Definitely Disney parks. You are most like Elsa. Crown yourself because you're just like the Queen of Arendelle. With Elsa's larger-than-life aura, it's no mystery that you're brave, independent, and a figure people look up to. But what is a mystery is where your ambition and talent will lead you in life. We're guessing very far. That was a fun quiz. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys take this quiz, let me know what your results are in the comments down below. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys. Fill in the other half of the heart. <laughs>